Good morning, folks. We've got a hit seismicity, weather, space weather, cosmology, and climate change today. Might as well start with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. And we find the last 24 hours on the sun were mostly quiet. Dark coronal holes scattered on this half of the sun. Got some arching umbral fields seen top left over the limb. No eruptive behaviors. The solar wind is very quiet as well. No geomagnetic disruptions from this moderate intensity plasma stream. But once we get into space, things get more interesting. Bottom of the page is C-2020 F3 Neo Wise. This comet never gets closer to the sun than Mercury is and should be visible for a few more days here on its perihelion pass. We're going to pull up the orbital diagram and see it is indeed a parabolic system intruder. It is coming up from the southern sky and will curve up and around and then go back out south of the system well past Mars. Let's go to earthquakes where China takes the top spot with a shallow rumble that luckily hit well north of populated areas in the Tibetan Plateau, where it's a good thing there aren't many people because at that depth of a shake, it would have been bad. Just south of the quake zone, we come back to lightning yet again. India is known for lightning deaths, but this was a major event, over 100 dead and one of the worst incidents in recent memory. The cool sight of the day comes as a flapping bat shadow in space. They say that a planet around a young star is warping its dusty disk into a floppy pancake shape, and as it spins, it's making the shadow tick back and forth. Interesting look at another warped disk effect in the heavens, although not normally so blamed on gravity and kinetic interaction. So we're going to go deeper into the cosmos, and this one puts the nail into the 3.5 keV line as being from dark matter. Most scientists had indeed moved on from the previous moment of excitement before the Xenon 1T tritium recoil, but this ends the discussion of that 3.5 line. And up next, this has to hurt. About 60% of the microlensing events in the Gaia catalog are spurious, false, not genuine. Dozens of papers have been published using those prized microlensing events. And of course, we can't speak of problems without speaking of solutions, and so here, a magnetic universe is modeled and behaves the exact same way dark matter models are behaving. Now that is to say, it's describing the current state of the stars, not seeming to fail at every turn. Wink. Coming down the line, we shift into the climate discussion by getting confirmation of an offhand quip we made on our podcast about a year ago, when we couldn't figure out any legitimate reason in the world why penguins wouldn't love less ice at the south. And it turns out that's the case. If you click on the article, you should see the krill size difference when they are less cut off from sunlight and CO2 for their food. The penguins are loving it. And last but not least, Try not to laugh, observers. A group of the world's top scientists got together to see why the new climate models seem to have such high oversensitivity and were producing such high predictions of the global temperature in the future. Their answer for this bias and uncertainty? Clouds. Aerosol interactions. Where have we heard that before? And as is so often not mentioned in these examinations, but always belongs in the discussion, the space weather modulation of those clouds is missing from the broader analysis in the field in general. Yet another group who sees exactly where the problem is as they look up, and apparently are too blinded by the light to see anything else. This was, in fact, the core concept of our open letter to the president of the AGU. It's like getting a paper a few days later, basically saying what you just said. We greatly appreciate your support. Folks, right below the video, you will find playlists in the description box. They are also on our channel page and at suspiciousobservers.org. The climate one is especially recommended today, given the recent focus on the minutia. We've got your wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. And of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.